In this video, I want to show you a magic formula with the help of which you can get the most out of ChatGPT. In this video, we will look at an example application of using ChatGPT as a prompt generator for mid-journey. But keep in mind, you can apply the same logic to any application you are working on. It doesn't have to be related to image generation. The core idea behind this approach is very simple. If you know what makes a good prompt or good image in mid-journey, so you can teach ChatGPT the structure of the prompt. You simply need to include what parameters you want in your prompt. Now, the great thing is that this is not just limited to mid-journey. You can use this with any image generators, for example, Stable Diffusion or uh, DALI. So using the simple formula, you will be able to generate images of people, let's say portrait of places, even food photography, or if you want to run ad campaigns, so you can generate product images as well. Now, the great thing about this is you're not going to be generating random images, but rather you will have a lot more control on what you want in your images. So let's get started. So here is our prompt. So we are telling ChatGPT structure of a mid-journey prompt. So it's supposed to have a subject of the image, then five descriptive keywords, camera type, then uh, the type of lens, uh, time of the day, then type of photography, right? and then time of uh, film to use, realism level, best uh, type of lighting for the subject, then best aspect ratio for the subject of the image in this format. So we're defining the uh, aspect ratio as a width and height. Then we're asking it, based on the above structure, create a detailed narrative of the scene. So for version five, which is now the default uh, model for mid-journey, you need to have really detailed descriptive uh, prompts. Uh, so we are asking it to kind of create a narrative for that and then generate different variations. So the first subject of the image is urban photography. So let's save and continue. Okay, so let's look at it, what it came up with. So the parameters, urban photography, gritty, vibrant, busy, dynamic, industrial. So I think it's going to be some industrial uh, scene. A type of uh, camera, then white angle, golden hour, a street, a street photography, and it's a, going to be a color image, then uh, realism level is really high, and then a soft light and aspect ratio is nine, uh, 16 by 9. Okay, so based on these parameters, it came up with this narrative. So as the sun begins to sit on the bustling cityscape, the urban landscape comes alive with gritty energy, the vibrant colors of the buildings and the neon sign contrast against the darkened sky. Okay, so it's a pretty, really nice narrative, right? Just one thing uh, I think I need to be careful about is when I'm copying this, it's simply uh, not the dash dash AR, but need to be careful with that, okay. So here's another one, sleek, modern, uh, minimalist, clean, futuristic, mirrorless, and here's the uh, narrative, in the blue hour in the city takes on the sleek and modern aesthetics. Let's try a couple of these in my journey. So here are the results for the first one. So this is um, like industrial city and the, it's a golden hour and neon signs are here. So it looks pretty, uh, actually pretty awesome. Especially look at the sky, the details. Uh, so here is just, it's, it's simply amazing to look at it. And the second one is more futuristic looking city. So you see the skyscrapers, uh, there's supposed to be uh, contrasting lines and shadows. So you can see those details in here. It looks pretty good. All right, so next um, I asked it to create prompts for a portrait of a young woman. And let's say, look at a couple of examples. So subject uh, is that, descriptive keywords, bold, energy, dramatic, mysterious, confident, and mirrorless is the camera type then zoom, lens type, uh, it's a twilight and fashion portrait, black and white, medium, uh, and low key aspect ratio is 16 by 9. Okay, uh, let's look at another one. Uh, I guess like I think it would be good to add the location as well. And here's the description based on that. So in the twilight hours, a young woman's bold and confident personality is captured in a fashion portrait shot on a mirrorless camera with a zoom lens. All right. Okay, let's uh, try this. So again, I'm going to type in slash imagined. And with all these, I need to manually uh, give the aspect ratio. Okay. 
Let's look and select another one. Now, one great thing I, I really like is it actually explains the port with the why certain aspect ratio was selected. So, for example, three by two aspect ratio is perfect for uh, showcasing the subject's natural proportions and adding a classic touch to the portrait. Okay, so I'm gonna uh, try this one. So here are a couple of examples. This is uh, very beautiful, especially the backlight in all these cases. It's really amazing. And that's uh, because of the morning light mentioned in the prompt, right? Then here's another one that is black and white. It actually adds a lot of dramatic effect. So it's pretty cool looking. So, so far we simply looked at more natural scenes. Let's look at it if it um, can uh, come up with prompts for abstract art and poster. So let's say a poster of Alps, uh, which is going to be interesting to see what it can generate. Okay, so majestic, bed taking, snowy. Uh, it's going to be a drawn shot, wide angle, sunrise, landscape, and realism is high. Okay, that's uh, pretty nice. Uh, the second one is going to be a medium format film camera, telephoto, and early morning. Okay, uh, that's black and white. I don't think it's going to look that great, but let's see. I actually like it in each case it is uh, suggesting to use different cameras. Okay, let's um, create a couple of them. Oh, okay, these images are simply breathtaking. Like, look at this. This is, I think, the uh, drone shot. Uh, so that's a drone camera with a wide angle lens and looks pretty awesome. Right, the second one is early morning mist. Um, so it actually put a black and white, but it's also pretty nice because you can see these clouds and mist in there. This is pretty awesome. And the third one is like more of a spring, a vibrant and colorful view. Uh, so there are these flowers and in the background you can see the mountains. These are pretty amazing. Okay, uh, next prompt was related to uh, food photography. So let's see what type of burger it can come up with. And then like the keywords it's coming up with, juicy, cheesy, grilled gourmet malt watering uh, type of lenses it's using is macro so that's that's good that's going to be close up okay so burger uh, messy unconventional artistic modern creative it's uh, using a smartphone camera uh, okay this one film SLR okay these I think are going to be pretty interesting ones to look at all right so we have some malt watering results Look at these burgers. And look at these. They are, look simply amazing. Uh, look at the attention to the details. If I open in the browser, right, look at this. This is simply amazing. So, okay, so here's another one. Uh, headphones with colorful smoke coming out of the earpieces. Let's see uh, how it's going to look like based on this. Uh, a vibrant, colorful, psychedelic surreal, otherworldly, and then uh, playful, rhythmical, quirky, fun. So I'm really interested in how the images are going to turn out. Okay, so here are the results. This is a poster and looks pretty neat. Um, it's a little bit fun uh, a little bit funky. Mm -hmm. Then uh, there was another poster that it added and this looks pretty cool. Oops, it's nice. And here is the last one, really colorful. All right, guys, uh, there you have it. Um, hope uh, you found this useful. Uh, let me know what you guys create with this. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.